In this video, we're going to learn how to calculate the area of a square where the square side length is provided as user input with C. The first thing we'll do is declare variables to store the square side length and the square area. So we'll have here double side is equal to zero. This will declare a variable with the name side. The variable will be of type double. We've used the type double because double variables can store numbers with decimal places like 4.5 and square side lengths include numbers with decimal places. For now we've set the variable to zero, but we're actually going to allow the user to set this variable's value. We'll also declare a variable of type double called area. And this variable is going to store the calculated square area. The next thing we'll do is prompt the user to enter in the square side length. We'll use printf to do that. We'll have here printf and we'll supply it with the string side length colon as an argument. This is going to prompt the user with the text side length colon. We can then use scanf to store the value that the user enters into the side variable. We'll have here scanf and then percent %lf. Percent %lf is going to tell scanf to expect a double value to be entered. Then we'll have and side as the next argument to scanf. That's going to have the value that the user enters stored into the side variable. The and operator there is actually going to give scanf the memory address of the side variable, so scanf knows where to store the value. Next we can calculate the square area. So we'll have area is equal to side multiplied by side. So the area of a square is the side length multiplied by the side length. And here, this star character is the multiplication operator. It's going to multiply the side length by the side length. That will give us the square area. This equals here is the assignment operator. The value of the side multiplied by the side is going to be stored into the area variable. We can now output that square area. We can have a call to printf here, and this time we'll have area colon, and then percent %f backslash n. So this is going to output the text area colon, followed by a double value that we're going to provide as the next argument to printf. Backslash n is a new line character. That's going to output a new line so that any further output from our program appears on the next line of the terminal. Next we'll pass printf the area variable so that way the area is output in place of that percent %f there. We can now save, compile, and run our program. And if I enter in a value like 5.47 for the side length, we get an area of 29.920900. And that is correct. Now we might only need two decimal digits of precision. We might not need any more precision beyond that. We can actually use the precision field to modify this. Here, we could have percent dot two f. What this will do is output the double value with two decimal digits of precision. So now, if we save, compile, and run the program, and we enter in 5.47, now we get 29.92, and we only get two decimal digits of precision. Another thing we could do is calculate the square area inside a function. So for example, we could have a function that's going to return a double value. The function could be called square area, and the function could accept a double value as an argument. We'll call the parameter side. Then we can provide a definition of this function down here. And all the function will do is return the side length multiplied by the side length. And this will calculate and return the square area. Then here, instead of calculating the area with this expression, we could have square area to call the function, and we could supply it with the side length input by the user as an argument. The function will take that side length and then multiply it by itself and return the result of that multiplication. That return value will then be stored into the area variable. 
Now, the advantage of using a function like this would be that we don't have to reproduce the square area formula wherever it's needed. We could just call a function instead. So we could save, compile, and run the program. And if we enter in 5.47, we get the same result as before, 29.92. But now instead, we're using a function to calculate the square area. So this is how we can calculate the area of a square with a user input value for the square side length using C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.